What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to build a regular expression checker in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to take a look at the final result as a motivational preview up front. Also, please excuse my voice today and occasional voice cracks, I'm a bit cold, so it might sound a little bit unusual today. Uh, but this is what we're going to end up with a regex tool, we have a text entry for regex, a text entry for the text itself, and we can find matches and we can check for a match. So here I have prepared some text. And I also prepared a regular expression. And the idea is now that if I find matches, it's going to highlight the matches, for example, here and here. And when I type uh, when I click on check match, it's going to check if the whole text matches uh, this regex. And if I remove all the stuff that does not match the regex here, if I just say uh, check match, it will tell me regex matches the whole text. Alright, so let us get right into the implementation. We're only going to use core Python today, we don't need to rely on any external packages. And we're only going to have two imports. First of all, import re, which is for the regular expression checking, and then also import tk inter as tk for the graphical user interface. And what we're going to do first is we're going to define two functions. The first one is going to be called find matches. Uh, we're going to pass for now. And we're going to have a second one, which is going to be check match, and we're going to pass here as well. And then we're going to define the basic graphical user interface, we're going to say root equals tk, tk, we're going to set a title, which is going to be regex checker, or something like this. Uh, and then we're going to add some basic UI elements that we saw in the preview. So we're going to say here, uh, regex underscore label is going to be tk dot label and the label will have uh, will be part of the root. So it will have root as a parent element. And the text is going to just be enter regex um, without without a space here. And then we're going to use a grid layout to place all of this into the root uh, window. So regex label dot grid, we're going to place this in row zero in column zero with a padding x of five and a padding y of five. Um, and in the end, of course, we're going to do root main loop. So already we should have a graphical user interface with uh, a simple label here. Now, uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to add the text entry. So we're going to say regex uh, entry is going to be equal to tk dot entry, it's going to be part of the root element, and it's going to have a width of 50. And then we're going to use again, the grid method to place this uh, in the same row, but not in the same column. So still row zero, column one. Um, and the padding is going to be the same. So padding x and padding y are going to be equal to five. And then basically, what we can do is we can copy this and we can slightly change this to be not regex label, but text label, and also text entry. And what we want to do here is enter text. And this, of course, will be row one, and this will be row one. And one more difference here is we're going to have a height of 10 here. Um, is this correct? Oh, actually, this is a text, not an entry. So it looks like this. Now we have a text entry and we have a text area. In addition to that, now we're going to add two buttons, the find button, which is going to be a TK button, which is going to be part of root we will have the text find matches, and will be linked to the function find matches from above, which we have to still implement this one here. Um, and then we're going to say find button dot grid, the row is going to be equal to two, the column is going to be equal to zero the column span is going to be equal to two. So it spans two columns. Uh, padding x is going to be five padding y is going to be five. And we're going to make it sticky to west and east. So sticky w e, then we're going to copy this, we're going to paste this, we're going to replace find by a uh, check. And we're going to say check, check match, 
the command here is going to be check match and we're going to change this to row three. And finally, we want to have a result label, which is going to be actually, let me just copy this here. This result label will have the text, uh, or actually in the beginning, it won't have any text at all. It will have a foreground, which is going to be green by default. And we're going to place this at row four, column zero, column span equals two. And that's it. So this is our UI now. And the only thing that we need to do now is we need to implement, we need to implement the find matches and check match functions. So for find matches, it's actually not too complicated, or actually both of them are not very complicated. We basically just say that we want to have a regex object, which is going to be equal to regex entry uh, dot get. So it's going to be the content of this entry here. It's just going to be the regular expression itself. Um, and we'll also want to have the text. And the text is basically the text entry dot get. But since this is now a text and not an entry field, um, we need to specify a starting point 1.0 and an end point. And as an end, we're going to use end minus one character minus one C to get rid of the last uh, line break. Uh, this is just how you select all the text. And then we're going to say now, uh, if there is a regex and a text, so if both are, um, if both are actually, uh, if both have some content, what we do is we get all the matches by saying re find iter. And we're going to pass here the regex and the text. And what we do then actually, we don't need this. Uh, what we do then is we iterate over the matches for match in matches. Uh, we say that the starting index of the respective match, so you can have multiple matches, but for this particular one, the start index is the following 1.0, which is the starting location plus a certain number of uh, characters, we're going to make this an F string here. And the certain number of characters will be match dot start. And we just add char. So this string basically says from the beginning, where does the match start that many characters offset, and the end index will be the same with match end. Uh, and then we can say text entry tag at because now to this section, we want to add a style. So we're going to say match will be added as a tag to start index or from start index to end index. And we're going to say now that the text entry tag config will be configured in a way that match has a certain styling. And the styling is that the foreground is going to be uh, black and so basically, the text is going to be black and the background is going to be red and the font is going to be whatever. Let's pick Arial 10. And what did I pick bold like this? So that is basically the find matches function. So this should already work if we go ahead and do the same thing again. So we have this here and we have this here you can see that this already works now. So the only function we need to implement is the check match function. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to say again, the regular expression is going to be whatever we get from the text entry or from the regex entry, the text is going to be equal to text entry get from 1.0 until end minus one character. And if regex and text are provided. If it is a match, the regex matches the text. If that is the case, all of the text, um, then we're going to say result label dot config. And we're going to set the text equal to regex matches the whole text. Foreground is going to be equal to green. Otherwise, we're going to copy this regex does not match the whole text foreground equals red. Now we can do the same thing.
find matches works, check match says it's not a match. Now we can get rid of some stuff here. And there you go, matches the whole text. So this is how you implement a regex checker with a graphical user interface in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.